Victron have a broad range of inverter chargers, ranging from 500 VA to 15,000 VA. They come in a range of voltages from 12 volts DC through to 48 volts DC. They also have two different models, the Multi, which accepts one AC input, and the Quattro that accepts two AC inputs. Two AC inputs might be suitable for larger installations where you have an onboard generator, but also have the ability to plug into shore power when available. In this video, we're going to look at one of the most popular models in the range, which is the 12-2000 Multi. We're going to have a look at what is in the box. We're going to take the units apart, have a look at the connections and give you some ideas on the accessories you can use when controlling the system. This unit is a combined inverter and charger. It provides 1600 watts of clean AC power from a 12 volt battery bank but also has an 80 amp battery charger built into the system. It has long been the popular choice for motorhomes and narrowboats alike. This unit can cope with different battery technologies from gel through to lithium. Accessories may be required for the safe operation when using lithium systems though. This unit is a sophisticated battery charger containing adaptive charging technology coupled with a true sine wave inverter. It also has a fast AC switching system which allows for seamless transfer when transitioning between shore power and battery power. This unit has the ability to deal with limited generator or shore power by setting a power limit. The MultiPlus takes account of the AC loads and whatever is extra will use for battery charging. This will prevent an overload of the shore power or generator. The main output has a powerful 80 amps charging capacity for the house batteries, which is delivered via means of an adaptive charge. The software provides a three-stage automatic process fine-tuned for the conditions of the batteries. There is a fourth stage which is there for long periods of float charging. The system also has a one amp trickle charge system which is suitable for the start battery. It also contains a programmable relay. Before we look at the main unit, let's take a look at the other items that are delivered within the box. When you unbox the unit, you will find inside a mounting bracket and screws, a quick installation guide, a temperature sensor, and the all important manual. This manual contains technical specifications and guidelines for your installation. This is definitely worth a read. If we have a look at the main unit now, it measures 506 tall, 236 wide, and 147 deep. On the front of the unit, you have the main switch, which is off, on, and charger only, as well as some indicator LEDs. All of the connections are located at the bottom of the unit and are hidden behind these two panels. It's important to remember where the connections are as you plan your installation, as it may affect where you place this unit within your vehicle or boat. So let's take these panels off now and see the actual connections. Once you've removed the six screws from the face plates, they are easily removed. The bottom plate will reveal the AC connections that are shown here at the bottom, the AC in and the AC out. The bottom plate itself comes with convenient glands for your cable. Removing the top plate reveals the battery connections and other accessory connections. The battery is connected, battery positive here, battery negative here, RJ45 for any accessories such as the remote control panel, temperature sensor connector. There is also a connector which allows you to connect your own switch, allowing for remote on off control. And finally, the relay connector. And at the very bottom here is the trickle charge of one amp connected onto a spade connector which allows for you to charge your start battery. The unit can be configured in a number of ways. Firstly, by the dip switches contained within the unit. These can be selected according to your installation, full details of which are contained within the installation manual. The unit comes from the factory already set, and this is for no remote panel, gel batteries, and a charge voltage of 14.4 volts. More settings are available if you use the Victron V configure or V bus smart dongle, both of which require additional purchases. One accessory that works well with this unit is the multi-control remote panel. It allows the user to turn the unit on and off or select charger only. It also allows you to easily dial in the shore limit, which is useful if moving locations frequently. It also has more LED indicators showing the status of the unit, which can be very useful if the actual unit is located in a cupboard or behind a bulkhead. You can see the LEDs at a glance on the remote panel. For your installation, you also need to consider batteries, battery switches, cabling and fuses, all of which we can help you with. I hope this brief overview of the Victron 12-2000 MultiPlus Compact has been useful. If you need more information on pricing or technical support, then please get in touch.